celebrity acting family in Hollywood these days is the Bridges clan. Son Jeff is a superstar. His brother Bo is a critically acclaimed actor and director. And then there's the old man, Lloyd, Mr. Sea Hunt himself, one of the real nice men in Hollywood. He looks upon himself as a grandfather, someone who can pass along to the generation beyond his sons and daughter the same thing that made them a family of doers. Lloyd Bridges, longtime Hollywood survivor, is a man who knows that good times come from hard work and the right priorities. For Bridges, the first one is family. We feel so fortunate that we do all love one another in our family. There's not only my two boys, Bo and Jeff, but I have a daughter, Lucinda. And uh, the gal who's really responsible for it all is my wife, Dorothy. We call her the general. She calls all the shots. And, and uh, any excuse that we can get together, any birthdays, and there are a lot of them, we got uh, a dozen grandchildren now. It's just a, it's a joy to to uh, be with my grandchildren and my kids, of course. The living evidence of his course in this life is the immense success that's come to his sons, Jeff and Beau Bridges, the happiness of his daughter, Lucinda, and the wonderful partnership with his wife, Dorothy. They are his closest. Lloyd Bridges doesn't reserve his affection for his kids and the kids of the world. There's another special group that he found when his career took him into the sea. Having done Sea Hunt, I, uh, I was brought closer to what actually transpires under the water there. The uh, well, thoughtless things that people have done. I suppose that awakened me to, to the fact that, that the ocean needs needs our attention because we get we get our oxygen from the ocean too air we breathe those terrible drift nets that they put out they go out for miles and uh, they catch anything everything else that's in there like like uh, little whales and, uh, and uh, dolphins are all just maimed killed drowned I had a little experience with them when I was doing sea I, I was working in the Marine Land tank. I used to kid around with them with my tank on and ride them. And, and uh, they were just like uh, dogs, you know. You get on them and, and, and they, they would play with me. I, I felt a, something between them, a, a good kind of a, a nice relationship, warm relationship. I met a lady when I was in, in Maui and uh, she had lived the last several years of her life almost with dolphins and uh, actually saw women being uh, given birth underwater with the help of dolphins. The dolphin would bring the baby up after it was given birth to. And she, this particular lady, uh, was given up <clears throat> uh, for good because they thought that she was going to die from cancer, I think uterine cancer or something she had. And so somehow she she got turned on to the to uh, the fact that if she swam with the dolphins and was a part of the dolphins, she would get something from them. And uh, I, you don't know how true something like this is, not, but she's cured now. She's completely healthy. It was that kind of experience that Lloyd says opened his mind to some of the other unexplained happenings of this world. My wife and I, at one period in our lives, were very interested in automatic writing, you know, where you hold a pencil and uh, you uh, try to get answers. She, she holds it one side and you hold the other. And uh, I, I always suspect my wife of, of moving it, but you gotta have faith in one another. And, and it's almost like your hands are empowered. Uh, and I still don't know whether it's from some other source or power or, or whether it's uh, your hands get tired holding it and they get a I don't know. But we had some amazing experiences. One time we got a, 
a musician, somebody uh, must have been quite famous. Uh, at least he led us to believe he was. But but it was clear. The the uh, he came in very very clear. We were down at the beach and we said, "Well, write us a write us a melody, one of your melodies." So he he did put the five lines and the staff and the, everything and and they, and the uh, notes he put in very fast. He worked very fast, and we played the melody afterwards, and it was it was lovely. On other occasions, Lloyd thinks he delved too closely into the unexplained. It was to do with a message he got from his late grandmother. We talked, and I told her how much I missed her and all that, you know, everything. And I don't think I asked her. I think she brought it up in our conversation. She said, you're having trouble with your plumbing. I'll tell you where it is. There was a tree there once, and the, the roots were getting into this, this uh, pipe, and it stopped it up so that the water couldn't get through. And I got a plumber out, and he looked at it, and that was it. And I thought, I, you know, I, I can't explain it. It was not the only time Lloyd thinks he tapped into something he still can't explain. If my work is any good as an actor, then a lot, is, a lot of it has been help that I've received from my past actor friends. You know, something like that, though, you don't know whether it's your own imagination or what it is. It's, it's a, certainly something that I think about often, as we all do, I'm sure. We're all interested to know what the heck's going to happen after we uh, take our last breath. Well, I can tell you what I'd like to believe. I'd like to believe that, just like they say it is, there's a beautiful heaven there. I mean, I would love to believe that.